Are you ready for another secret game? Let's unlock it and check it out together. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here for Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich and Fun for Five. That's right. It is time to go into the depths of the Evercade VS and pluck out yet another secret game. Yes, there's been a firmware update. We already played our game of the month, which was pretty rad. Um, but there was a secret. The secret was Im almost immediately found. So it was like the, it, it's like the firmware drops, and then boom, someone out there saying, "Bam, here's your here's your game," which was pretty cool. Um, so the videos out there. Uh, hat tip to Crazy Burger. He was the one that found uh, found out the information on the game. Um, and uh, let's go in to. The Evercade, unlock this game and check it out. Let's go. All right, so here we are on the menu. We, of course, are going to go into the settings menu. And we got all the way down to secret. All right. And we've got our secret code, which is simply blop. B L O P. I don't know. I don't know why, but that's it. That's the code. You hit the button and boom, the Lost Minds 2022 puzzler made originally for MSX computers. Lost Minds is a remake of the first game Caesar Rincon ever made. It is in this puzzle game, you must collect all the resources to advance to the next level, avoiding the Guardian and fighting against the clock. Old style difficulty with remastered graphics and sound is in this one. Uh, pretty cool. Not much more. No Katie says. No other things in there. Um, but we've got it. And now it's unlocked. And it's unlocked forever. We can back up now. Go to the VS menu. There we go. Nine out of nine games unlocked. You can look at the list. Fairy Fire, Gotris, Gregory's Day, Day Out, Hummings, Kubo 1 and 2, NNNNNNN, Rogue 64. Excellent times, by the way. Um, Spacey McCracy, and then of course the Lost Minds, which we're going to play right now. So let's hit the button, see how this is. Do do do. Loading up. Engine. Oh, that's pretty cool. Night Fox. Oh man, immediately the music. Wow, that looks cool. Very cool, very cool. I'm unfortunately covering up the <laughs> the uh, credits there, but that's all right. Nice. Man, this is really neat. <laughs> I, I'm digging... The aesthetic, the graphics, the feeling. Look at that. Man, that's really cool. It's sharp, very sharp. Do, 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 do. All right, robots are just sitting in there doing its thing, doing its thing. That's just like, like the bendy, like jazzy. Ooh, man, this is this is cool. Michette is the music. Jason Shaw. Ooh, I think I remember him. Time Crawler eighty two. Pretty sure I remember Jason Shaw. He did a whole bunch of other music, I think, on other games or something. I don't know. I listen to a lot of uh, video game podcasts, or at least used to. Um, i got to get back into this. And, like, they would talk about specific people all the time. And I want to say Jason Shaw was in that list. Hmm. 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 
that is just the groove on this. Hmm. Very cool. All right, wait. Don't play it again. Don't play it again. Your progress. Secrets discovered. Highest balance. No, no, no. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess it just is like the high score screen. All right. Let's see what's in the options. Filtering. Yes. No. V sync. Rumble. 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 I wonder if it's like screen rumble. Let's see. Let's put it put it on a little bit. Obviously, it's not the controller. But that's weird. All right, let's jump in. Level one, keep out. All right. So I guess you just gotta like go. What? Oh, that's pretty neat. I mean, can you just go through? No, you can't. Can't go through yet. So, how am I supposed to? So, I mean, if he's getting all those, how are you supposed to get all of them? Oh, those things are like power-ups, I guess? I, I mean, I'm not necessarily understanding what I need to do, other than, you know, it's like a maze game, and I need to get all of the things. And I'm pretty sure you, that thing can't hit you. Okay, so we've cleared them all. Now we need to go and find our way out, right? The music's just great, though. Yeah, we did it. Oh, the blop is the the amount of things you have to get or something. All right, that's pretty cool. Nice. All right. Let's try another one. All right. here doing our thing oh no it's hard it's hard to do this do I need to go up go up through here Oh no. It's so it's so weird. Okay, so we've got all these. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna get trapped. So I guess they weren't kidding when they were talking about like difficulty being high. But I don't know how to get up here. Oh there it is, it's through here. Uh I'm gonna run out of time. I'm running out of time. Oh. That's it. Just boom, game over. Level password resource in case you guys need that. All right, cool. Well, that was pretty neat. So clearly, you know, you got to you gotta keep a motion on and, and make a plan here. So let's go to the wrap up and see what we see here.
All right, folks. So that was the Lost Mine, um, <clears throat> Lost Mines, the secret game on the Evercade, an MSX game, which is really really cool. So what do we do? Do we find? Did we find the fun? Is it certified good times? Is it yeah, but or is it something else? Hmm. What do you think? I'm gonna go with yes. Indeed, the fun was found here. Um, it's cool. It's cool for a free, you know, like a free secret game that's just built in. Um, first uh, MSX like remakey kind of game. Um, very cool. Loving the soundtrack is like just phenomenal on this thing. Um, I love puzzle games. You guys all know that that's a thing for me. So um, this one's very cool. It's really you got it. You got to plan though. You got to plan. So if you and if you're not like if you're not there and knowing what's going on in each stage, I, I imagine there's going to be a ton of just play over and over and over and over and then find the right route so you can not waste too much time and backtrack and do all that kind of thing. So um, I, I do want to kind of like run into that thing that's running around just to see if you actually die or not. I don't know if that happens. So yeah, I'll definitely be trying that out stuff. Um, but um, cool, cool, cool game. And Hopefully everyone else digs it because everyone that's got a VS or an EXP, go in that secrets menu, pop in that clue, B-L-O-P, and then you get this. So it's pretty cool. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments, and um, we'll talk about this. We'll chat about the Lost Mines and uh, whether or not you guys thought it was a pretty cool thing. And, of course, since we are at the end of a video here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions, we have to do one thing and one thing only. And that is, of course, thank every single member of the Good Times Club, um, which is growing, which is awesome. So thank you guys all for the support. So thank you to the Ever Canadian, to Crimson Cross, to George Games, to Chris Westerman, to Phantom Fiction, to Skeletrex, to Lit or Jim, to Papa Pete, to The and Television Gamer, to Ken LeCure, to Mr. Shua, and to John Woolig, all for being members of the Good Times Club. Legacy, man, Legacy member Karsten, you too. You too. We're thanking all of you for being members and for giving awesome support here. That 1080p glory here on StreamYard is phenomenal. Um, and we thank you guys all for the ability to do that. And then, of course, uh, for things like Retro Riches Restorations, which will, will make its triumphant return here in November in a big way. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys. Bacon ice cream dot com.